Five, four, two. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. Yeah, five, four, two. <laughs> but no, I, I knew it was that. I just had to... Whoops. Oh, yes! I thought that only worked in the movies. It was on the paper. Open sesame. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. This Come is on. insane stuff. Can we close the okay the door? When should we what close the, the door? What the hell is this? More survivalist supplies. Look at all this weird shit. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Hmm. Ooh, a letter. Can you imagine chilling in the Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. <clears throat> As Nathan's primary psychiatrist for over five years, I feel that I should stop seeing your son as you have disregarded my rather, excuse me, dire and immediate suggestions for his and others' as well, others' as whatever, well-being. You know well the extent of Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in his mental health. If I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It is as simple as that. I fear he is becoming even more disconnected from reality, even if he acts in a personable manner. You have ignored my request for a consultation with you and your wife, so I have ass I have to assume you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan and I believe he needs serious help. If you would like to talk about this matter, I am always available. This room? Hmm. Duct tape, Duct -tape in a bunker is... Always a bad sign. Exactly. Oh. Um. I don't want to know what Nathan has been doing down here. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. I'm guessing this is his dark room, but at the same time... I guess I I just hope he hasn't actually like done things with people for his photo shoots. Oh, that son of a bitch. Howard Road Construction Storm Breaker Bunker Full Holy A million dollars three hundred and fifty thousand six hundred and fifty. Oh my god. Talk about tortured. Oh, look at all this weird shit. Let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all... These are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's... out of it. Maybe... 
Maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Hmm. I knew it. He's doing all this. Oh stuff. my god. Rachel. Kate. All these files. This place actually feels evil. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel is passed out and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Nathan, I totally never call me using your phone. Stick with the disposable one ones I gave you. <coughs> I don't want you to you. Excuse me. I don't want to hear you screaming out my name in a public place, which you have stupidly done before. I haven't set all this up and shared my vast wisdom just so you can fuck it up with your teen rage. We can accomplish a lot together, but you have to let me guide you, or you're on your own. Hmm. Little Kate's file. Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's being posed. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. Did we look at that? Oh, that son of a bitch. Yeah, we did. Alright, I guess we gotta go now. Where the fuck did Chloe go? Door's closed. Huh. Good job leaving marks. He says. Chloe, slow down! Wait for me! I know exactly where I'm going! Look, this is it! This is it! Are you gonna help me, Max? Chloe, stop! Find something Look. to dig with. Oh no. Please, no. Oh! oh. That oh. smell! Rachel! Oh. oh, Rachel, no, no! Please, not her! <laughs> Chloe! Oh god. <laughs> Sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? Holy shit. <laughs> Nathan actually murdered them. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know how to feel about this. Oh, there's the, the dough. I didn't even realize.
Is the doe symbolizing Am Rachel Amber? Maybe. Now are the police getting involved? I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. What is she gonna do? Is she gonna just, like, shoot Nathan? Yeah, there's a gun. Oh, shit! This is like that eclipse! You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky! Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. Take a You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Why would there be two moons? Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? Well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? <coughs> and do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <sighs> He's only had half a beer and he's that drunk. It took me nine beer to get drunk, and that was my like that was my first time getting really drunk. And I typically don't drink beer. That was like the only time I drank beer. That's because I, that's all I had. But I typically drink hard liquor. Okay, Chloe, where the hell are you? It was weird, like freak the fuck out. I hate touching all these clothes. It is kind of nasty. Plus some of the Vortex Club always- uh, Hi, Stella! Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. What girl? She had blue hair, dressed like a punk. Oh, Chloe. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Did you notice anything unusual about the Vortex Club tonight? Yeah, I noticed they don't give a shit about Kate Marsh. I'm glad for the job, but I think Principal Wells should have canceled the party. Yeah. Guess I'm not cool enough. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. 
I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. <coughs> I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Awesome. Uh... Oh, I love this song. It's funny because for me there isn't any music, so it's like they're all dancing and all this stuff and all yelling. It's like they're, they're, there's just no music. <laughs> but don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll throw my own, like I said. They're having it in the pool. Hopefully nobody gets. Hopefully nobody drowns. The hell is Chloe? Oh man, two pages. Chloe and I loaded up her cornice and hit the road. We were both quiet yet excited. It's hard to explain the feeling, even with all the horrible things happening. I found myself thinking that Chloe and I were part of some greater mystery that involved time, space, and all our fates. I've never had much faith, not the Kate Marsh kind anyway, but I couldn't believe we were being set up for, dorm for doom after everything that's happened this week, but I wasn't prepared for the dark room. The coordinates led us to an old abandoned farm owned by the Prescott family and I shouldn't have been surprised that it was actually housing a weird secure bunker that was filled, fought, yeah, filled with Prescott mem memorabilia. That's a word. And worse. If there was evil ground zero, this place was it. Cupboards filled with named red binders that confirmed our worst nightmares. Not that I even had any clue that our amateur detective work would... would lead us to this kind of professional hell. When I saw the binder marked Victoria, my heart started pounding like a jackhammer. Then I had a real clue, what, about, clue about what was coming. I don't even want to think about the images we saw of Kate Marsh post unconscious with that motherfucker, Nathan Prescott. She did know the truth about what happened to her even if she couldn't remember all the awful details. And then Rachel Amber, delicately composed photographs of her drugged and all over Nathan like some kind of sick goth couple. I couldn't bear to look at Chloe's face as she looked at the photos of her abused angel. I felt nauseated. I felt nauseated. All the hope I was feeding Chloe felt like vapor. And then we saw exactly where Nathan had taken his, his vicious layout with poor Rachel in, in the junkyard. We finally found Rachel Amber, dead and buried. I'm sorry, Rachel. I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm sorry, Kate. I'm sorry, William. Fuck you, Arcadia Bay. High school should be the best years of our life. I've heard over and over from my parents and our other experts. Fuck do they know? Tell tell that to Rachel Amber or Kate. <coughs> I've never seen Chloe so cold and hard. She won't let go of the gun. So we have to find Nathan before Chloe kills him. And if that happens, it will be hard to rewind. But we're as close to the end of this nightmare as possible, so I have to block out those images of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber that will be burned into my retinas forever. There's still a final secret to uncover and nothing is going to stop us now. Not even a goddamn tornado. Chloe and I have pulled up to Blackwell's parking lot and arrived at the end of the world party. Oh, the irony. We had to get rid of poor Warren fast. Who wanted to bask in his alpha glory and hang out with Chloe and me? I can't put another one of my friends in danger. So bizarro to see all the students dressed up in expensive outfits or pre-Halloween costumes, talking and laughing and smoking and drinking, as if there wasn't a serial killer going on, going to the same party, or the town wasn't in eco danger. Oh man, the lights like had a weird we effect. We need to on find him. Nathan and take him down. <laughs> Brooke. And what is the point of this party exactly? Wasn't she over there? Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub. 
and his club. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex club. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? Why? You're the one going out with him. Brooke, enough. I, I am sorry Warren asked me to the movie, but you don't need to <coughs> give me an attitude. I'd like to think I'm your friend. I know. I get salty when things don't go my way. I'm selfish while you go on a roof to help save your friend. You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. <laughs> Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. All right, now we're like less mad with each other. I just wish someone would kick Nathan's ass. Luke, I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Um, why are you looking for Nathan? I want to make sure he's not gonna. D do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. I have dreams that somebody finally kicks his ass one day. Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Today I saw Warren give Nathan an epic headbutt. Yes, give it up for brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. Uh... That'll be hard to do when the Prescotts own the town and the Vortex Club. I call it the Vortex Cult. Look at this crap. Dress code, VIP section, elitist bullshit. Preach it, Brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you so for helping Kate and for keeping it real. Peace out. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Hiding or something? <laughs> I'm always doing this for Elisa. I went too far. Elisa, incoming! Fly off. Of course, my object angel has stepped up every single time to protect me from the cruel world. Thank you again, Mystic Max. We're like always protecting her. No running, no diving. I still don't see. There is a lot more people in the pool than I expected. And they seem to be pixelated and almost like not gl like I guess, yeah, I guess glitchy. But anyways. Uh, he's the bouncer. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? I don't give a shit about being a member. Okay. I just want to talk Victoria to Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! Go in. No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. You're a bitch. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Hey, Max. What are you doing in here? If I get sick now, oh, I can drink shit. more later. Energy drink in Everclear. Oh, God, my stomach. They're all, it's like a unisex bathroom, that's interesting. Kill the press gods. Hello, can you please hurl and flush already? Yes, you've been vomiting for like an I'm hour. We're leaving this toilet. Maybe you're not. 
This is my last Vortex Club party. Um. Seems to be happening out there. Is there something that we need to do to move the bouncer banner, maybe? God, are you mental? You can't come in. I just accidentally talked to her. Yes, you do suck. Yeah. Looks like there might be another way around. Oh, no, nope, it's blocked. Where is it? Uh oh. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck is going on? Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, who stopped the music, okay? DJ, what the fuck? Oh my god, DJ Jules, check me out. This party is so not cool. We can just rewind though, and then we're, not, we're on the other side. Yeah, here we go. Oh, fixed. There we go. <laughs> Tickle, stop it. It's okay. Nathan is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. This section is so lame. I heard they wouldn't like Kate Marsh. You dance worse than my dad. For all this yes. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. So should I warn her? Yeah, but then if we like yeah, talk to her. Wicked. Uh, did you hear something? I'm trying to not to. Oh. Yo, Superman. Come and hang with us. We need our hero. This must make them feel extra crispy special. A bomb. Give me a break. Um, or is everybody here all fuzzy? All fuzzy. <laughs> oxygen kit? That oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binges. Um. I don't see where Chloe could have gone. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me, everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> uh... Your photographs suck, Victoria. You make fun of my selfies, but most of your photos are basically headshots. I don't think Richard Avedon has anything to worry about. Oh, you did not just say that. 
I can't wait to see you choke when Mr. Jefferson selects my incredible photo for the Everyday Heroes contest. Uh, yeah, I saw you try to blackmail Mr. Jefferson last night because you're so incredible. That was so pathetic, Victoria. Yeah, exactly. Uh, no, Creeper. We were talking about the contest. You didn't even enter a picture, so stop acting like you care. Like Mr. Jefferson gives a shit about you either. I mean, okay. have you ever even watched his body language when you try to cuddle up to him? <sighs> Sad face. Ha ha! By the way, nobody says we have to be friends, Max. Good. I have real friends. I wouldn't want a fake one. You try to act like all shy and humble. You took a picture of me covered in paint. Who do you think set up the paint can to fall? It wasn't Samuel, dumbass. And you trashed my room after, so stop whining. You did that? You bitch. You could have killed me with that fucking can. I almost got that freak Samuel fired. And that would have been bad. You're right, Victoria, for once. You actually think you're better than me. No fucking way. Guess I'll never be a member of the Vortex Club. No, bitch, you won't. Might as well. Victoria, enough of this high school bullshit. We're adults now. So listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know you're close to Nathan, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace. Dark. Oh my god. And I'm the drama queen? Touche. But I am not fucking around here. Sorry, but no. No way. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. I prob probably by fighting with her, this is like, he's not going to believe me at all. I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. I don't believe anything you say. You're full of shit. Oh, hi, I'm Max Caulfield, and I'm so sensitive that butterflies make me cry. Now, will you listen? No, I won't. You're just pissed because you didn't enter a photo in the contest and that Mr. Jefferson is going to pick me. A real artist would have busted ass to win, but you just want to take your little retro selfies. That is so fucking lame and lazy, Max. Just go find a community college. <gasps> Victoria, please don't do this. Especially after what happened with Kate. Can't you see I'm serious? That's your problem, Max. This is a party, and it's the end of the world, so I am going to get so wasted, even you won't bother me anymore. I'll let Nathan know if he finally shows up. Adios. Au revoir. There she is. <clears throat> okay, I tried. I mean, she's not going to believe me over her vortex. Here you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Um, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He... He seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. But I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this 
is the most important step in being an artist. <laughs> Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy, and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. She's fake. She was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Ha! Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. That was funny. It was like half and half, like... Some people are like, yeah, Victoria, Christ. and other people are like, Nathan yeah, just fuck texted you. me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. What the hell? Two moons. I'm trying to think why there would be two moons. Like, there's always only one moon. So is it like... Is there something... Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Oh, God. I feel like I'd be even more deep into the game more emotional about the game if there was like music but the music keeps being copyrighted I fucking kill that little psycho hey i can't focus if you're yelling please i keep getting copyright claims over the music so uh i'll try and throw in my own where i find it needs it but and that was a bird that Max, half I scared me then you better rewind so i can kill him over and over oh, for god's sake chloe you have to be quiet we could die, okay? Max, please hurry! Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. can't rewind. Uh-oh. Chloe! Look out! What the fuck? Oh... My god. What the fuck? Chloe... And I can't rewind. What? Mr. Jefferson? What the fuck? Oh, I think I get it now. I think Mr. Jefferson is uh, Nathan's father. Maybe I don't know. I'm. What the fuck? 
I am so surprised and also confused. Like, I cannot wrap my head around this. Like, I'm kind of suspecting that it's Nathan's father, but... It's, it seems like more and more people of this town are becoming uh, almost against us. And it, it almost seems like the further we discover things, the more it's obvious that this town is so corrupt. Holy crap. Oh man. I'm uh Oh that's the cast. Chloe's Ashley. Mark Jefferson. Melodies we haven't played. I don't like I'm I'm thinking like his name is Mark Jefferson. Or Mr. Jefferson, but like does that mean He, like he, he changed his name or something like he's like I don't he might not be the, the father but maybe he's been, I don't want to say brainwashed but maybe like I don't know there's something weird going on and I wish I could understand but like, is, is Chloe dead for good now? Like, will, are we gonna be able to rewind that far? I mean, he shot her right in the forehead. So she's obviously dead. There's no way she could be still alive. We were just given some drug. Well, episode 5 is available and I can't wait to play it, but I'm not going to play it right away because there's, uh, I mean, there's just so many, uh, episodes already of episode 4 that I have to upload, but that would set me up for every Monday, and then, yeah, I just got CSGO, and I got SOMA to finish too, I'm probably going to fit, I'm going to... I'm probably going to finish recording Soma before I do episode 5, and I'm probably going to wait until after I'm done all my midterms, because, I mean, right now it's, uh, I think, of this moment in time, of this recording, I have a couple midterms later this week, and then I have one next week, and then after that I think I'm good, but, uh, I'm probably not going to do any more recordings until after my exams, but I'm all set up for everything else. But anyways, I'm basically just going to let this roll through, and um, yeah, I I can't exactly turn off my webcam because uh, if I do, the screen's going to go black and all that, so uh, yeah, I'm basically just going to walk away for a bit, and then probably just cut it off when it's done in the editing. So enjoy the music that I throw in here, and all music that I put in will obviously be in the description. And yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I really enjoy the series. I can't wait for episode to play episode 5. And uh, I will see you guys in the next, or the last portion of the game. Bye.
So, uh, I forgot that they do this at the end, and, uh, I just wanted to show it before I, uh, ended the, the, this video, but, um, I'm actually shocked with the first one. Most people actually accepted her request, but I didn't think that even if I did, I could go back, but, I mean, I'm kind of glad with my decision, but anyways, so yeah, it, it shows that, uh, I mean, it shows what it shows. 58% said yes, and I'm with the, the minority on that one. And then, I'm with the majority with stopping Nathan. Um, I guess... I, I did it wrong when we were confronting Frank, but basically no one got hurt was the majority. But I, I'm in between with the 23%. And then, again, I'm in between, but 6% didn't warn her, and the majority got her to believe them. What's next? You let the Blue Jay die. What? What Blue Jay? I don't remember this. You didn't disturb the bird's nest. Okay. Uh, I'm with the majority on that. The majority got David's files in another way. You found David's code. There was a code? I wonder where. Um, 36%. Kate didn't help you. Huh? Okay. I was with the minority on that one, but I don't remember that. And then I'm with the majority on he didn't motivate Dan to attend the Vortex Club party. I guess we were supposed to talk with him or something. Um, he didn't leave a message on Warren's slate. We were able to? Oh, we, we probably should have, and it would have a lot. Warren probably would have like um, been more attracted to us, I guess, or would have like I don't know. It's just I guess I'm on the majority on that one, or I kind of missed out. Uh, you didn't figure out Nathan's pin code. Yeah, it's with the majority on that too. Um, you helped Elisa. Yeah, that's. With the majority on that again, and it's probably show us the uh, trailer for episode five. Yep. Oh god, we're in that position, and there's Mr. Jefferson. This is his doing. stops. Wow. Uh, I'm, I'm actually shocked. Like, I, I can't stop thinking about this. Anyways, that's it for me. Hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. 
And as always, bye for meow. God, this the whole menu is just completely different now. <laughs>